Can a tree grow in your stomach if you swallow a seed? 100%, and here's how. To grow, a tree needs an environment of soil, light, and water. In a stable condition, a stomach does not offer this environment. But these are unstable times. You go to a neighborhood cookout on an empty stomach. You show up ready to eat. You start with dessert. Why not? You're an adult. You can do whatever you want. You go straight for the dirt cake. It's your favorite. Pudding, Oreos, gummy worms, yum. Except this pudding was made by a child who thought you're supposed to use real dirt. You ingest two giant spoonfuls before realizing your stomach is full of soil. Desperate to get the taste out of your mouth, you eat 10 watermelon slices back to back, seeds and all. Now your stomach is full of soil, water, and seeds. Not a problem, a seed needs sunlight to grow, and a stomach doesn't get direct sunlight, except your belly button is an Audi. The doctor that tied it was never good with loops, which means your navel knot has been loosening since the day you were born. And now it's just slack enough to let in a steady stream of light. Imperceptible to the human eye, but obvious to a baby seedling. You doze by the pool, oblivious to the fact that a watermelon patch is growing in your stomach. Let's say you hate barbecues. You're not a big party guy. You're a company man. Spend your evenings whining and dining clients on the expense account. And your clients are fancy. They like steak dinners and martini lunches. By the end of the week, you're full of ribeyes and olive pits. And it's all sitting in your large intestines. Which shouldn't be a problem because that never gets any light. Except your boss told you these clients like a funny man. And if you don't get them to crack a smile, you're fired. You have a family to feed. So you try what always works on your cousins. You drop your pants and moon every single one of those suits. They love it. Ask you to do it over and over again in the south facing 11th floor conference room on June 20th, the sunniest day of the year. Every time you drop your drawers, a beam of sunlight goes directly into your anus, nourishing the olive pit growing in your intestines. Next morning, you have to call out sick because there's an olive tree growing in your stomach. Sure, okay, sure. Let's say you never show your butt to strangers. In fact, you only get naked in front of medical professionals, doctors, nurses, veterinarians. And your doctor says you're stressed, recommends you go to a sauna. You decide to go a step further and try the full Russian banya experience. You pay for the upgrade. Get a barrel-chested Russian man to smack you around with a bath broom, traditionally made from birch tree branches. The Russian man keeps shouting, Zakroy Roth, but you don't speak Russian. You took Spanish in high school and still only understand un poquito. So you give him the classic American open-mouthed smile. The birch seeds fly right through your teeth and into your belly, which the sauna has warmed to 80 degrees, the optimum temperature for birch seed germination. You've got a birch tree growing in your stomach. Let's say you hate the heat, which is why you decide to give cool sculpting a try. Kim Kardashian does it, and she looks like a human made from magic putty. You arrive at the spa, and it's lovely. They give you a complimentary wheatgrass shot and crisp apple slices. And then the cooling begins. They attach ice packs to your stomach that freeze fat cells by cooling your midsection to below 30 degrees, which is also the temperature in which snow apple trees sprout, the seeds of which are in your stomach resting on a bed of wheatgrass. You're not getting abs. You're getting an apple tree in your stomach. Let's say you're not into health fads. You get your six pack the traditional way, coughing and crunches. And you've been going to the gym every morning. You like this gym. They have a no frills attitude. Plus, they give you free waters and fig newtons, which you had a box of before your workout. On your last scissor kick, you assume the pain in your gut is from your soon to be washboard abs, but instead, it's your swollen appendix. Happens to one in 20 people, no way of knowing when or how 100% confirmed. On your final oblique twist, it bursts. The acid flows into your stomach and covers the partially digested fig newtons. Normally, this kind of acid would kill seeds, but figs are different. They thrive on acid. This is their burning man. When you get to the hospital, you're sent to labor and delivery because you've got a fig tree growing in your stomach. Let's say you never had an appendix. One in 100,000 people are born without one. Your stomach is perfectly healthy, and it's Christmas, your favorite time of year because your family makes award-winning gingerbread houses. Their attention to detail is impeccable, and this year, your aunt has not only made the gingerbread house exterior, she's also made a living room. Graham cracker couch, gumdrop coffee table, a terrarium clearly made from chocolate cake, you think as you pop it into your mouth. No. It's real dirt again, because your aunt cheated. Stressed with meeting everyone's high expectations, she bought a real terrarium. Thought no one would actually eat it, 
but you did. And now the tiny forest of trees and plants is sitting in your stomach. They couldn't possibly continue to grow surrounded by your stomach's natural acids, except you just chugged three cups of eggnog. The dairy has neutralized your stomach acid. And now your family has two Christmas trees, one outside the fireplace and one inside your stomach. So yes, a tree can grow inside your stomach. It's just a matter of when and how. I'm expert Natasha Vainblot, and I worship a different God. Это проблема. That just means problem in Russian. <laughs> <laughs>